the run-up to the general election, Londoners' biggest concerns were the economy, the NHS, housing and immigration. But nearly a year on, and focusing on the future of the capital only, it seems the issues are slightly different. We asked voters what were their biggest priorities for the next mayor. Joint top came house prices and public transport, which were both cho chosen by 54%. Next was the cost of renting at 52%. Then the security of London at 51 and crime and policing, which 49% picked out. But there's no doubt that housing is the hot topic. Luke Hanrahan investigates the impact it might have come May. At 33, Claire McCallion is still renting. A teacher who thought she'd have her own home by now. No option but to house share with three others in Blackheath. The cost even just for a room causing her to consider her future in the capital. It is so expensive to live here, um, rent being one of the major outgoings I have every month. Um, wanted to save maybe buy my own place or even ha rent my own place, but it's just impossible. I, I, it's impossible to do it at this stage and I'm nearly in my mid-30s and you think at this point in my life I should be able to do that and not be living in shared accommodation like I was as a student at 18. It is no surprise that our poll has found rent prices and house prices are two issues paramount to Londoners. Most young professionals in the capital can't afford to buy, forcing them to rent, making the market increasingly competitive. The question is which mayoral candidate is most capable of fixing London's rental crisis? For all the mayoral candidates, housing is a priority. The two main rivals must now prove they have what it takes. Both recognise that we need many more new homes. Zach Goldsmith is saying that by 2020 he will be building 50,000 more new homes in London. We need that, but we actually need that now. Um, Sadiq is talking about building 80,000 homes a year and he's concentrated more on making sure they're affordable and saying 50% of those have been affordable. That's fine, but you've got to wonder how that's going to be financed. Nick Ferrari hears from Londoners every day on his breakfast show. He knows housing matters. No surprise that housing's come top of this poll. The problem is that the candidates, the main candidates, all have the same sort of solutions and ideas, but it's delivery. If you look at the last year, the current mayor, Boris Johnson, promised 42,000 homes. It's still too few. He actually delivered just over 18,000. These are great words. They hit home with Londoners, but can they actually deliver in practical terms? That will be the key. Expect all the candidates to promote their housing credentials at every opportunity over the coming weeks. Luke Hanrahan, ITV News. All right, let's hear more now from Simon Harris, who is at the Pride in London mayoral hustings tonight. Simon, will this race end up being more about issues like housing that we've just heard, or will it be about personalities? Nina, previous mayoral elections, especially the last two, were dominated by personality. Boris Johnson had no experience of leadership or local government before he was mayor, but he won over voters, including Labour voters, because of who he was. Now, Sadiq Khan and Zach Goldsmith are not household names, but what our opinion poll shows is that the top priority for voters is a mayor who understands the needs of Londoners, the concerns about housing, public transport and security. So, yes, I think it's going to be about issues as much as personalities, probably more about issues at this stage in the campaign. Of course, the other factor is uh, poli party politics. Will voters in London want to give past judgment on a year of David Cameron's government? And how do you think those poll results will frame the debate ahead tonight? Well, this event has been organised by Pride in London, so it's an audience with a big interest in LGBT issues. The other finding of our poll was to the, the second most important asset quality needed f f by a mayor is, is, a Lon is somebody who will stand up for Londoners, and certainly that's what the audience here will want to test with the candidates when they question them later on. Simon Harris, thank you.